for the Portland Roadster Show once again. Thanks so much to that crew for inviting us back. Check out all the rides and cars. Is that the one you want, Lola? That's kind of the one I want. It's so pretty. It's, it's got my name on it. It's cheeky and it's got a surfboard. It's got a surfboard, yeah. And it's got sparkle in the paint, which I like. Welcome to Bossa Nova Life. How are you two fine people doing today? We're doing great. great, thank you. And what are your names? My name is Sherry Friels, and we're here with the 50 Merc. A 50 Merc. Yeah. You're liking it. My name is Larry Hanson. That's my fiance, Sherry. Oh, fiance. We bought this car 29 years ago. It was in a junkyard. Wow. We rusted out. Need a lot of work. It took 11 years to build it. And uh, we have a good time showing it. Wow. So you did this all yourself? My buddies and I did. That's impressive. So I like that. At, uh, we had to replace all the metal. It was all rusted out. It has a 50 Impala roof on it. it has a 3D3 four, a four bolt main Corvette engine. Uh huh. So we, uh, we enjoy it. We, we love the hobby. I've been doing the hobby for 64 years. So what about the interior? Who did that? Bob Jasper out of Tacoma, Washington. Uh -huh. This is his 50th anniversary car. He's now been doing it for about 60 years. That's some He's gorgeous 70, tuck and roll. 78 man. years old, still doing upholstery. Takes a lot of pride in it, a lot of show winning upholstery jobs he's done. Very fussy. The seats are handmade. The front seats oh. out of a 64 T Bird, but the back seats are handmade. They're out of no cars. Wow. And he went with the classic flames. I, I like that. Yeah, the paint job was done by uh, Louis Shosti out of Olympia, the red. And the flames are done by a guy back from Illinois, Dean Arnold. Oh. And so the, all, the whole underneath of the car is also done. It's all chrome and painted underneath it. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Well, thanks for We coming appreciate it. Thanks for having a good time. Hope to see you guys here again. You bet. Thank yeah. you. Boston Nova Life. How are you doing today, man? Doing good. Doing good. And what is your name, fine sir? My name's Nolan Kersey, and we're here at the Portland Roadster Show in the rat section. In the rat rod yeah, section, rat indeed. Rod section. And uh, you had this last year, you said, at Rustorama. Correct. But uh, we did not get an interview you, with you there. So uh, what have we got, man? So basically, we have a 46 International. We call it Healer Hell. We named it after our dogs because they drive you nuts in the shop. <laughs> and also have a lot of stuff that we support autism, and my son does the carvings. And uh, he just started wood carving a year ago. So I saw these on the back. He did these two panels that yep. are on the back. This one he calls Spider Skull. 
and he took like a couple months to carve that and then he does the little carvings too and uh, he basically didn't want to be a woodworker and he started this and it's like it relaxes him so he does it four hours a day okay. <laughs> so we got a 350 chevy in this thing and i you know collection of everything i go to antique stores and collect whatever so, so, you, so you get it all out of antique stores that's and, interesting and antique stores and like the uh, tachometers old cigar humidor okay which is cool and uh, the skulls and stuff i got out of colorado but it's just a bunch of stuff that we just love building rat rods because it's like art yeah. You know, everything's got a theme. Well, thanks, man. It's Thank been you. lovely. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Good to see you guys Always again. good to see a, a new car that I haven't interviewed yet. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you, man. child or get on out. Well, welcome to Bossa Nova Life. How are you doing today? Good. Good, good, good. And what have we got here? A 55 Chrysler New Yorker. A 55 Chrysler New Yorker. Yeah. And uh, what is your name? Jaden Alderman. Jaden. Well, Jaden, how long have you had this? A uh, year and a half. A year and a half. And did you get it in this condition? Uh, the roof, not painted, but mostly the same year. Mostly the same year, and have you done any work on it yourself? Um, took out the transmission with my dad. Okay. Took out the rear end with my dad. Nice. Got those rebuilt. Took out the generator, the starter. I like the um, fact that you know it's a generator, not an alternator. Yeah. We'll get somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, when the engine got taken out, I um, sanded the frame with a DA sander and a wire wheel. Nice. And then my dad painted that, and my dad painted the roof, and I cut and buffed it. Cool. And when all the interior was out, um, I ground down the whole entire floor and sanded it and used a wire wheel with it. So how rusted was the floor? Not very bad. Not bad. That's yeah. good. That's good. So where did you guys get this? Um, from a guy near Tacoma. Tacoma. Okay. Washington. So not too far away. Like, no. yeah, a couple hours. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, is this something you've been wanting for a while? Yeah. I've been searching for a car and I found this one and I begged my dad to get it. <laughs> Well, I like it. It's good to see uh, younger people yeah. in the scene. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. When you get the blues, come on, get rhythm. When you get the blues, get a rock and roll feeling in your bones. Put taps on your toes and kick on, get rhythm. When you get the blues, little shoeshine boy never gets slow down, but he's got the dirtiest job in town. Bending low at the people's feet on the wind. Welcome to Boston Nova Life. How you doing today, man? I'm doing good. And what is your name, fine sir? I'm Ken Curry. Ken Curry. And uh, what do we got? I've got a 1946 uh, Ford two-door Super Deluxe. Nice. How long have you had it? Uh, a little over a year. A little over a year. And did you get it in this condition? Uh, I did a lot of work to it. I got it from my brother-in-law's dad that passed away. Uh -huh. um, it's a Montana car. And he had it for about 25, 30 years and just kind of tinkered with it. And so, so I'm going to go with 
with you put the clear coat on it for sure. I put the clear coat on it. I, I put all the, the fenders back on it and got it shiny and got it running and tuned up and did a little bit of my own uniqueness to it. Is, is this is this where this copper here comes from? Is the, that from you? The copper's all That, that was what got my attention at first. I'm wandering by, you know, what a looks lot. like a traditional car and then all of a sudden, bang, I uh, got the copper going I on. I work with heating and copper all the time, so I had to add a little copper to it. A little bit of your day job to yeah. your car. I like it. I like put, it. Put some uh, stainless and copper door panels in it. Oh, you put some, uh, oh, I did not catch that. I, I'm not very good at sewing, but I can bend sheet metal up, so. Wow, that's pretty though, man. I like it. And, it, little, you know, it'll last longer than yeah. the fabric, right? Just got to wipe it off. <laughs> good to go. It's Oregon. You don't want it to rust. That's... <laughs> This guy knows Oregon. <laughs> so uh, you said your uh, brother, brother-in-law? My brother, I got it from my brother-in-law's Bro dad. Okay, brother-in-law's dad, okay. And he had it for 25 years, yeah. huh? So was it? Came, came out of uh, Glasgow, Montana. Wow. Virtually no rust in it. I can see that. That's just amazing. All, all original sheet metal. So how did that conversation come up? Like, um, I've got this car sitting out in the barn. Is that, the, I, is it the old, that, well, that story? He had, it, he had it in his garage. He's, he was working on it and he passed away and he had about a dozen cars. And wow. my brother-in-law is a Chevy guy and I'm a Ford guy. So I'm talking about the Ford. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You sell well, a lot of price and here it is. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'll tell you why. Lots of, lots of man hours later of uh, putting it together and... This one wasn't found on road yet. Sorry, that it was terrible. <laughs> no, my dad was a Ford man, so I I grew up with that. So I hear you. Well, it's a beautiful car. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Well, I took my baby money to buy me a some new suits, and with the money behind it, when I bought some gin and drank the way full of my blues. Well, I'm a losing my mind, a losing my mind, I'm a losing my mind, well, I'm a losing my mind. Well, I'm pretty and I hope to think somebody else. I do the reach around without a sound, how my love will fit my head well. I'm still for my kind, I'm still for my kind, I'm still for my kind, well, I'm a losing my mind. Let's go. Well, welcome to Boston Nova Life Fine, sir. Yeah, thank you. And how are you doing today? Pretty good, and yourself? I'm doing well. And what have we got here? Oh, well, right here we have a booth where we do auto body paint, Wall Street, collision repairing, and a Wall Street. Yeah. All right. Nice. Bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been doing this? 29 years. 29 years. And I have not seen samples like this before, which kind of got my attention. I like. Uh, I like it. So did you come up with that yourself? Or? Yes, I like to always bring a little bit of everything that we do <laughs> instead of just regular paint jobs, a little bit of variety. Yeah, a little bit of uniqueness to it as well, exactly. I see. Bring some fun into it. So is there a particular type of car you like to work on? Uh, I'm age? a Chevy guy, but I pretty much work on everything. You're a Chevy guy? Yeah. But you <laughs> but I work on everything. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, thank you We'll be much. talking to you, man. Sounds good. And you were with Latinos That's Touch good. Auto Body and Paint. In Salem, Oregon, yes. In Salem, Oregon, yep. And we are... Here at the Portland Rosa Show. I like well, welcome to Boston Nova Life. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing just great. Enjoying the show right now this morning and uh, one of my cars that I yeah. have. And what's your name? My name is Javier Caceres. Nice. And what have we got here? We got a 1942 COE. That's what I saw. World War II. World War II. And they decided to update it, uh, the truck. Yeah. It has a 5.3 LS engine with a whole frame coming for a 1994 S10. So everything is being updated, but the cap is still all real. Yeah. It's all metal. Well, you don't see too many COEs with the original engines and drivetrains in them. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. And, uh, I was coming here to enjoy the show and see how people can appreciate the truck. Yeah. And where did you find it? I was in Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah. So how much rust did it have? Oh no, actually uh, it was in 
really good condition. Pretty clean. Correct. To concern to another one that I see it. Yeah. And uh, they cocked it, so they decided to put it together, and there we go. Nice. Bought it uh, like almost six months ago. So instant. You did all this in six months? Well, actually, we did some work in the frame, reinforce it to make it more uh, drivable. Yeah. And I got the wheels and tires. They would set them up, redoing uh, the bumpers. Okay. And. Uh, Put in the visor. Yeah, I like the visor. It created a, the low rider style. <laughs> cruising, <you know? laughs> All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. It's an awesome ride. Thank you so much. Oh no, thank you so much too for the interview. find yourself another ride that you want yeah you want yeah. this to tow our trailer I with think right this would be great to tow our trailer I know it's so pretty I think you just need to make up your mind as to which ones you want Well, welcome to Bossa Nova Life Find, sir. Hi, good and, to be here. And what is your name? Steve Greenberg. Steve, and what do we got here, man? We have a 1942 M3A1 Stuart light tank. Those were the, what we had early on in the war and actually before the war started, because they started making them in 1940. And uh, as the war went on, of course, we made larger tanks like Sherman's and other yeah. assorted tanks yeah. for or actually were main combat tanks. Or this is more of a reconnaissance tank. Yeah, this is what I get for glancing at it quickly and not paying enough attention. So where did you get this? I bought this from a friend of mine about 14, 15 years ago from Pennsylvania. And nice. And it trucked out here. Is this your first tank? It's my first tank. Do you have any others? No more tanks. I got more military vehicles. All but... right. I like that. Yep. So how many have you got? Just two. Just two. And what else? I own this and a, and a duck, which is a amphibian truck. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They, they have those up in Seattle, or at least they used to. They yep. used to give people tours on them. Yep. Yes, they do. <laughs> until, until they got sued. Yeah. They so, uh, and what did you have to do to this when you got it? Uh, it was running when I got it. I've had to turn off the engine out to restore the inside of it. The guy that I bought it from never did the inside, so it was a mm -hmm. lot of work doing the inside. Wow. So. And do you drive it around very often? Oh yeah, I have it in lots of parades, a lot of shows, you know, a lot of things, a lot of different events honoring veterans, and uh, it, it gets around. Actually, I took it back to Pennsylvania <laughs> several years ago for the tour of Bicentennial for the town where it was made in Berwick, Pennsylvania. You put it on the back of a semi truck yep, to take it back there? Okay. Back there, yeah, I had it in a parade and had a World War II veteran, a Marine Corps veteran that actually, was, that's what this uh, press thing is about. Wow. Yeah, he's passed away, but he, uh, he, he took him, he was a grand marshal and rode in the tank in the parade to him. Wow. So that was pretty neat. That must have been pretty special for that him, for sure. Pretty, yeah. yeah. Wow. That is awesome. Does it uh, have the original motor in it? Yep. It has a uh, seven-cylinder air-cooled radial. Same engine that went in a Sturman airplane. <laughs> and, and so that's got to be something to work on. Yeah. yeah you it you like have to get, like, manuals or something? Yeah, to I got that? manuals for it. And okay. I got, luckily got spare parts. I actually have a whole spare engine. So. Wow. When you own old vehicles, it's good to have spare parts. Wow, so air-cooled. Yep. I did not know that. That is fascinating. No radiator. Well, I guess it makes sense. Probably make it a little bit better uh, if it did get damaged in, in a right. battle. So, wow. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Yep. Have a good day. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. Thanks. 
Well, thank you for watching our video. Do you like classic cars and rockabilly? What about pinup and burlesque? What about those things? How about tiki culture and mid-century modern? Atomic culture. All of those things can be yours. Just click like and subscribe right there. Do it. Right there.